sometimes a practical question opens up a whole new perspective. Within the fire brigade, I'm involved with the process of learning from incidents, looking for new uh, knowledge and solutions to provide a safe environment for firefighters every day. I don't rush when there is an emergency. I rush to identify the lessons learned after the fire. The fire brigade has a special DNA. First, a firefighter goes to situations where a normal person is running away from. When I ask about the fire brigade, people always talk about the noisy fire engine and the flashing lights. All the effort we put in before the firefighting is not that visible for the outside world. Second, our organization uh, exists of a lot of volunteers. In Twente, we have 300 professionals and we have 750 volunteers. They both manage more than 5,000 incidents every year. The volunteers are men and women uh, who often have uh, um, uh, a full-time job, social obligations, and are 24-7 also firefighters. So you understand that they have a big passion for that job. Third, our organization had two phases. When there is no emergency, we all work in the office. We have different tasks with the normal office issues. But when there's an emergency, we transform into a well-organized machine. It's very clear how decisions are being made. And we have a lot of procedures to cope with the situation you're in. Teamwork is essential. And trust in each other and in your equipment is crucial. No incident is the same. So you have to make a decision in a split second. So when there's an emergency, it's very clear. Hierarchy and following instructions. That's a safe way for teamwork when the heat is on. But how about outside the heat? Do we still need to follow instructions? How about, how about uh, thinking for yourself outside the heat? Times are changing, and the fire brigade is also in transition. On a national level, we took a strategic journey and looked at our organization at 2040. And the message was very clear. With all statistics, we found out that we're at the limit of how fast and how well we can technically help you. There isn't much more space to improve and our main focus remains the firefighting. But we want to become better and more effective. And we can be more effective if we share the responsibility of our safety, if we together invest to reduce safety risks. All the effort we put in before the fire will lead to less victims and less damage. In my case, uh, my practical question was uh, the location of a new fire station in Enschede. Uh, we got the collaboration of the people in Enschede to be located in their neighborhood. But we got a lot of resistance when we came up with the ID to train our firefighting skills there as well. The good news for us is that the military airbase was just closed. The military airbase is a perfect location to train our skills. And sometimes something new taps in a new way of thinking as well. We created a place where civilians, where students, where different organizations and emergency services are working together on safety. We call it the Twente Safety Campus. The concept of the campus is based on thinking, doing and experiencing for yourself. Bringing so many inspiring partners under one roof not only enables us to create new solutions, it also gives an often new insights and new ideas. People who work on the campus radiate enthusiasm, passion and creativity because they see the positive results of the job every day, from basic child safety to new safety concepts which makes the world much more safe. In Twente, we don't brag about success. We need proof before we spread the word. Well, we can say now that the Twente Safety Campus is a success. We won two times a National Innovation Award for the Risk Factory, the place where we teach children safety, and RedSuit, a new virtual training system.
Students of Saxion, Universiteit Twente and ROC are doing internships on the campus and creating new knowledge by doing research uh, of several safety topics. Organizations are testing their products on the campus and uh, are experimenting with new safety concepts. I experienced for myself that when you are connected with the community around you, you will be rewarded with results. When I started working with the fire brigade, we were a traditional organization. You can see it like a castle, thick walls, little windows, and a drawbridge which only came down when there was a fire. That time is long gone. The fire brigade is working hard to become a part of society, or better, a partner in safety. We work together with vets, with school teachers, with students and different entrepreneurs. And I'm amazed that on all the safety questions we had as a fire brigade, you easily find an expert who can help you. I learned that the expertise you need to solve a tough question uh, is never present in your own organization. And I learned that you have to stay open, ask questions and listen. We need a new DNA enabled to learn from each other. When you want to create something new, like the campus, you need rebels. Rebels in the way that they can make a difference. Not by thinking about it or writing plans about it, no, just doing it. And I think the fire brigade is capable of that. Imagine when you're unsafe and you don't know what to do, who are you going to call? You call us. <laughs> and we fix it. We're the best in fixing things. And I'm glad that we took the possibility to fix the safety compass in Twente. And my belief is, is that doing is the best way of thinking, but be really ready for the next step. How can we bring this further? The new DNA we want is a combination of expertise of inside pros and outside pros, and a constant curiosity of how to do better next time. And our mission is, is that you will be part of it. <laughs>